All right, so now that we've learned how to search on a search engine and use keywords, etc., we need to know how to validate a source and make sure it's a decent source for us to use. Before we get started, let's have the document titled Report Notes open so that way we can answer questions along the way. Push pause and then return. All right, now we're coming back. We're going to look at how do we validate a site. How do you decide if something's true or not? So what you need to do is triangulate the data. Now that sounds confusing, but in simple terms, you have to find the answer to your question and prove it from three different sites. If you have three different similar results, then odds are your, your information is true. So we need to know what credibility so credibility on the on the search engine equals trustworthiness and expertise. Well, how do we find credibility? It's very difficult to actually understand what that is. So I want you to actually push pause and then go and, and find out what credibility means and then write it down in your Google Notes. Okay. Now we're back. We're going to explain a little bit more about what credibility on the internet is. So we have a practice. What is the diameter of the Earth? So a tip might be to get multiple answers for this, and then we have to check our answers. So we typed in our search engine, diameter of the Earth. That was our, the search results that we got below. Depending on which one you choose, you'll get different answers. So we looked at four different sites, and we have two different different uh, results in miles and then two different results in kilometers. Those might be the same but we have to check them. I want you to write down on your Google notes, the report notes, what are some possible reasons for the differences here? Why do you think they're they're so different? Okay, now we're back. We're gonna look at even more credibility strategies to make sure you you're on a website that is trustworthy. So the URL, what you need to do, is it a place you've heard of before? The type of page, is it someone's personal page? Uh, for example, Geosites or Geocities, AOL.com, etc. What kind of domain is it? EDU is a more believable than many others because it's coming from an educational site. Where is it hosted in another country? Check the About section. So is the web page affiliated with a place you've heard? Is there a date and an author? If so, look up the author in Google. Usually uh, needed to use in, in quotation marks so you can actually get to that person. And why was the page put out there? What I would like you to do now is I want you to put down in your Google Notes your favorite website, the website that you go to most often that's school appropriate. Write that down. And then I want you to go and see if you can find all of these um, credibility strategies. See if you can figure out what type of page, what kind of doma domain it is. Um, is it hosted in another country? So look, use this bullet list to see if you can find those answers. These are some of the different URLs, uh, domains that you could look for. There's EDU, which is higher education, usually uh, po posted by a college. There's .gov, that's from the government. .com means commercial business. .mil is uh, U.S. military. .net is internet service providers. .org is a nonprofit organization. Uh, .ca is Canada, and .uk is United Kingdom. Now, this is continuing our understanding about credibility. Look at the purpose of the site. What is it trying to do? And these options right here in the bulleted list are actual ways, sites, things that sites actually try to do. Some try to inform, give you facts, give you data. Some try to explain. Some try to persuade and sell and entice you. Those might be uh, advertisements. Sometimes some try to share, entertain, there might be a personal website, or it just might be a hoax. If you're unsure what a hoax is, I'd like you to go and search that answer right now. Okay. 
continuing though if we scan the perimeter of the page so in our bullet to the list previously in the previous two slides we talked about the author now there's always an author of a website sometimes they don't let you know who you who it is so look for the about page contact information affiliation or credentials affiliation is are they connected to another site that you might know um, do they give you that contact information and then trim back the URL to the domain name removing all parts after each slash mark to review or view the home page of a site now here's a little practice for you did NASA fake the moon landing what you're gonna do is go to a Google search engine and conduct the search below that you see it states lunar landing hoax so type that in did NASA fake the moon landing? So click on the first result. And the, if it's not the first result, it, uh, this is what it would look like. It's www.ufos-aliens.co.uk slash cosmicapollo.html. See if you pro can prove the answer. Did they fake the moon landing? Now here's coming back to more credibility. If you know something about the author or authors, is it more believable? Write a response in your Google, Google Notes or your report notes and explain why yes or why no. Now this is the last thing that we're going to do. We're actually going to do this in class. So what I'd like you to do is think about uh, commonly um, common hoaxes. And we know what a hoax is now because we searched it before. So think about some things that are common and we're going to have a challenge when we come into class. Good luck on your Google search.